Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Dr. Trudy Fundu, and today it's another wonderful day to discuss a topic of great importance, a topic that virtually everybody out there wants to experience. So lately, everybody wants to have twin babies. Everybody wants to have triplets. And some women want to have um, quadruplets. And it's a thing of joy to have multiple babies. Um, but there are a couple of things you need to be conversant with. There are a couple of facts. And there are also a couple of factors that might lead to multiple pregnancy. So this evening, we're going to talk about the secrets of having multiple pregnancy. And we're going to focus more on twin pregnancy. So what are those basic facts? What are those factors that might predispose you to having multiple pregnancy? What are those social determinants? What are those things that probably your mom transferred to you that might give you that odd of having multiple pregnancy? Of all types of multiple pregnancy, twin pregnancy is the commonest. So we're going to be talking more about twin pregnancy. So how does twinning occur? We can actually have two types of twin pregnancy. You can have what we call monozygotic twins. So monozygotic twins happens when a fertilized egg, instead of continuing as one egg, will split at that very early stage. This type of twinning doesn't run in the family. Any woman can spontaneously have monozygotic twins. It's also called identical twins. Now, the second type of twinning is the type that can actually run in the family. So that's the type that if your mom is a twin or your mom had twins or your sister had twins, you're likely going to have this type of twinning. It's called dizygotic twins. So di means different, right? Mono means uniform. So in dizygotic twins, instead of one egg to be released, you will have the release of two eggs. Unfortunately, those two released eggs are fertilized by two different sperm. So, and this type of twins are called fraternal twins. Fraternal twins can run in a family. So fraternal twins can be determined by your genetics. And the, the gene pathway that gives rise to fraternal twins is actually from your mother. So if your mother is a twin or your mother gave birth to twin babies or your sister gave birth to twins, you have a very good chance of having twins. So twinning, it's maternally determined, not paternally determined. So I've given you two different types of twinnings, right? Monozygotic. Monozygotic twins means one egg got fertilized by one sperm, but in course of development of that egg, it divides into two separate individuals. So they are what? Uniform. They are identical. In the other aspect, two different eggs fertilized by two different sperm, pretty much two different individuals, more like siblings. Now, what are those factors that can actually increase your chances, your probability, your odds of having twin pregnancy? The first on the list is what? Your genetics, your genes. And this is very important. And the type of twinning that genetics can influence is what? Your fraternal twins, the non-identical twins. So if your mom transferred the twinning gene to you, you can have twins. If your mom is a twin, or your mom gave birth to twins, or your sister gave birth to twins, you have a gene lineage of twins. So you can become a twin mother if you're from this family. So interestingly, you will expect that that's also going to run in the monozygotic line. That's identical twins. But if from researchers we've had, in the history of families that have twins, just very few of them have identical twins. Most twins that run in the family are non-identical twins. So number one fact in, in, the, in, in the 
you know, giving birth to twin is what? Genetics, your gene. They play a lot of role. The second factor, which is kind of funny, because it's very unusual. So from researches, we discovered that women that have a higher BMI. So remember your BMI is used for checking how big, small, or obese you are. BMI stands for body mass index. We use your height and your weight to calculate your BMI. So for some inexplicable reasons, they discovered that if you are, if you have a BMI of about 30 and above, which ordinarily should place you about the obesity range, you have a greater chance of having twins when you're bigger compared to when you're smaller. Also, in the same vein, surprisingly, we also found that women that are taller have a better chance of having twins compared to women that are shorter. This doesn't mean that all women that are, that are you know, that, that, that have, you know, bigger weights will all have multiple twins. And this doesn't mean that women that are shorter cannot have multiple pregnancy and twins. It's just the probability. It's just the odds when you compare both of them. So the next factor which you have to talk about is your age. You see, age is a factor that nobody can control. Everybody is going to age, right? So you're not going to be the same. So you're going to one day be 16, 26, 36. You keep aging until you die. So we also discover that the older you are, the more chances you will have to have twins. So women that are both 35 years old have a better chance, a better odd of having twin pregnancies compared to women that are younger than 35. So this is something that should be encouraging to some women that are actually getting married late or if you've been looking for a baby for a long time. The older you are, the more the likelihood you're going to have twins. So it's a plus. And also, the older you are, the more the likelihood you'll have success if you're going through ART, of which an example of ART is what? Your IVF. These are factors that over time researchers have been able to galvanize and put together. So your age is also a factor. The older you are, the more the probability you're going to have twins. Now, this factor is pretty common, like common sense. So if you're a twin, by chance, you have a better chance of having twins. Whether you're fraternal or, or, or you know, identical twins, you, once you're a twin, that's a very big factor that can influence your ability to become pregnant. If you have also had a twin in your pregnancy, so if you had your first baby as twins, the probability the second baby might be twins is very high. The probability they might skip and maybe the third pregnancy might be twins is very high. So when you've already had twins, you also have an advantage of having twins. Very important factor. Another factor is a factor that will be very comforting to Nigerians. So there is this special place in Yoruba land where they have very high incidence of twins in the world. Matter of fact, it's called the twin capital of the world. It's called the Ibuara, somewhere in Yoruba land. So they discovered that women in this community, you have to actually live in that community to have this pr probability of having twins. So they discovered that there's a particular cassava, which is a yam, a type of yam too, that women in this community consume, and they kind of link this cassava to the ability to become pregnant with twins. So this Yoruba city has the biggest number of twins in the world. So that yarn has a probability of having what we call hyper-ovulation or super-ovulation. So instead of a woman to release one egg, the woman will release more than one egg. So that's another factor. Then this one is something that is pretty common, infertility treatment. So if you're on Clomid, which is very common out there, Remember, Clomid is a fertility medication. So women that are run on Clomid will have a double the chance of having more than one baby. But please don't go about abusing Clomid because Clomid should only be administered by your doctor. Then finally, most people that go off pills abruptly, so suddenly you go off your oral contraceptive pills, when you do that, you also have an increased chance of having twins then people, that, people can just have twins by luck. 
There are some people that never plan to have twins. They just discover they can have twins by luck. So that's also a factor. So the final word is, whether you're trying to have twins by chance, you can have this naturally, or you can have it through assisted reproductive technique. Whatever I shared with you, it's just odds. It's the secrets. Some of them you can't change. You can't change your age. You can't change your genes, but you can go for IVF, right? When you go for IVF and you have adequate number of eggs, good sperm, good womb, you can have twins. But a couple of them you can't change. But remember, twin pregnancy has a lot of complications, like multiple, like preterm birth, low back weight, preeclampsia, and miscarriage. So it's not just enough to say, oh, I want to have twins. You have to be conversant with the risk factors involved. Okay? Thank you for coming this evening, and I hope to be back, and I hope I've been able to explain one or a few things to help you understand twinning better. Thank you, and bye-bye for now.